Well, my badly kept secret is out. If you saw the new video I put out last week for Tiny Glowing Screens Part 3, you know now that the whole time that I was in New York working on my book, I was also working on a brand new album. It's called Times Infinity. It's coming out August 19th, and it is 18 beefy tracks long. I'm proud of every single one of them. Those of you who've been following me for a while might have noticed that I tend to fall off the map for a while occasionally, and yes, that's probably not the best way to keep an online buzz going, but it's because I very badly want every project that I put out to be better than the last one, and that's what I'm striving for. That takes a while to do. And that might be frustrating for some of you guys. You might find that you like some of my pieces better than others, but that's because I always want to keep switching it up and finding ways to be more creative. And whether you found me 10 years ago through my poetry or last week through my music, I'm the same person. I still try to carry the same core values into my work. And I still unfortunately weigh roughly the same 135 pounds that I did in high school, but I'm not gonna change on you. I am, however, going to try to grow, and the promise that I make to every single one of you who follows my stuff is that as long as I'm alive, and as long as I'm alive, I will be making shit, I promise to pour 100% of myself into what I do, and I will always do it on my own terms. To support my new album, Times Infinity, I'm going on the road, and I'm going on the road hard. 60 shows across North America and Europe featuring the full band. Yes, that is correct, Creme Fresh is back plus the awesome Whit Lowry and Dye Jack in the US. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you guys that there will be no ugly faces to be made on this tour because we're gonna take these sound waves and then we're gonna throw them at your faces until your faces, the sinew and the muscle, actually melts and bubbles off of your bone structure so you can't actually make an ugly face. A third of the tickets are already sold out in a lot of cities, so if you do wanna come to the tour, I would highly recommend that you buy your tickets early. Instead of a pre-show poetry show this year, I'm gonna be doing a VIP book reading that comes with a copy of How to Ruin Everything, a laminate, a signed poster, and a bunch of other crap. And I'm also introducing a post-show toast, which involves 15 people coming backstage after the gig, and we toast, and we eat toast, and apparently toast is very popular because a lot of those are completely sold out already. Ever since Cardboard Castles, I've taken a lot of pride in the deluxe packaging of my album. I think it's a really great way to extend the art of the piece, and Times Infinity is no different. As you can see from my extremely expensive high-tech mock-up fabrication, the packaging for Times Infinity folds up into a cube with these circles die cut out around the sides. It's also gonna come with a LED light, a Watsky LED light that you put inside so the light shoots out and inspires you to be great. All of the information on the tour and the deluxe packaging and everything like that can be found at georgewatsky.com slash xinfinity. So finally, you might remember that I did these sweepstakes giveaways for my book promotion, and I'm doing a sweepstakes to support Times Infinity also. However, for the album, there's gonna be one sweepstakes. There is going to be a single winner, and there is going to be one prize. This, friends and lovers, is the fruity little Subaru. Maybe you recognize it. Everything is a okay. Yup, except that it's a Subaru and I'm yelling hoody ho. You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. The first time I ate avocado. Some days I wake up and I wonder what would Buddha do? And then I jump into my fruity little Subaru. I love this car. For the most part. I've driven it since I moved to Los Angeles in 2010, and over the years, it's developed a lot of personality. Sides dented. Side paneling fell off. Hubcap fell off. Seat belt sucks. Back bumper sucks. Front bumper sucks too. Dead headlight. I did put subs in, however, so this just got a sound system on it. What's up, I'm Watsky, and welcome to this week's installment of Pimp My Subaru. Now, we are here at Subaru Independent in North Hollywood, California, where they're gonna repair the head gasket, fix the timing belt, fix the headlamp, and then what they're gonna do is they're gonna drive the car over to the body shop across the street 
where they're gonna fix the paint job, they're gonna redo all this body work, then I'm gonna put new tires on the car, I'm gonna get it smogged, I'm gonna get the registration updated, and I am going to restore this car beyond its previous former motherfucking majesty. And I am doing that because I'm getting ready to say goodbye to her. It's a little bit hard to swallow, but try and bear with me here. When I moved to New York this year, I didn't have my driver's license because of my epilepsy. I lost it for the year, but I just got it back. And what that means is that this year, right when my album's gonna come out, I'm gonna go on an epic road trip across the country, and I'm gonna be stopping along the way to play my album at listening parties for fans. And the ultimate destination of that road trip is going to be at the house of its new owner. And if you are over the age of 18, if you live in North America and you have pre-ordered my album on any platform at all, that owner could be you. All you have to do is pre-order before August 8th and enter your confirmation code at soonbetimesinfinity.com. Book Canyon. Book Canyon.